chicken lugger, chicken lugger, choo! Truth train! Oh, fucking truth train. Ah. <laughs> Woo! Almost blew me off my feet, the truth train. Wow, powerful message, man. Powerful message in the truth train. I don't know how many more times I gotta stand in this spot to hear the truth train. It's raining a little in New York. So, big picture, big picture. Do we need a we need a, a collapse of the system, right? Hey look, uh, I, I I had started to say it in a different video that the reason I came into this uh, investigative reporting or whatever was that I had insight into challenging an oligarchy, challenging a municipality, challenging authority, and trying to challenge them in their own court, meaning that you go through all the, the rigmarole, you bring, them, you bring evidence to court and you present your evidence to the court and the judges, and, and then a decision is rendered. <laughs> and what I, what I came to find is that the system is, is 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 profoundly rigged in uh, against regular people and in favor of a oligarchy that has seized control of power right i mean that sounds pompous right it sounds it sounds conspiratorial oh the oligarchy the oligarchy stole america do we look at evidence anymore do we do we consider evidence that is in the record that the that the the the, the, the transfer of wealth the the actual the actual uh, uh, financial powers that control and pay off politicians this is this is the evidence that in a prior society that we had we used to look at the evidence and then you know we hold these truths to be self-evident as Lincoln said, right? Self-evident truth, that we see the truth, right? But now we're in a, we're in a place where those truths don't matter anymore. So I, I guess my, my point of today is that I still watch, um, I still watch the alt-left alt and right media. We don't even know what the, the, the alt-left and the alt-right medias have combined because people like Alex Jones and, and uh, Corsi, Dr. Corsi, would never, we would never have mixed, even two short years ago. But we came together on the idea of eliminating the corruption. But the difference is that the, the people that came out of the Bernie Sanders uh, uprising that saw the oligarchy, that saw the, the corruption in politics, that blew the whistle on it, know that it is in fact a financial problem and not a social problem not a problem of muslims or 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 or, or people of color or mexicans right? that's not the problem the problem is is and always has been a very corrupt political system an oligarchy a financial crisis in america where power has been seized so that's where we that's our common common thread the corruption but the problem is that that there's now two two schools of thought within this revolutionary community and, that, and one is that Trump and Trump's ideas of trickle-down economics and Reaganomics and uh, th those sorts of ideas are still valid and work and they don't work right right they're failed, they're failed financial ideas. And the other side, the Sanders independent movement, that's probably way bigger than we think, probably 50, 60, 70 million people that are kind of quietly sitting in, in, and waiting, believe that it's the money in politics. None of the corruption, and there's evidence in that theory, right? The evidence in that theory is that you, you see how in the Mueller investigation that everyone knows, everyone watching it knows it's a fake investigation. But it continues. We see Rosenstein and, and all these players and 
Stor Strozak and, and, and Comey and K McCabe and all these, these uh, the Clintons, and we see how deeply corrupt the system is, and we see how how the the Awan situation where the Imran Awan was caught operating a spy ring in Congress. Not because he felt like it, not because he was doing it on his own behalf. He was doing it because there were 20, 30, 50, 100 congressional, you know, people, con people in Congress that were paying him to do it, selling information out the back door, quid pro quo. That's what it is. The filtration of money, selling, selling secrets, selling influence. That's what the spy ring exposed. Now, it's still going on. Nothing has changed, right? But unless you unless you collapse the system, unless you take the money away from the operatives that are making this uh, occur, you know, at the very top, Koch brothers and you know people like Bill Gates, people with you know Warren Buffett inadvertently with billions of dollars, billions, the the executives at Goldman Sachs, you know, Lloyd Blank Fine, Jamie Price, uh, J P Morgan. Chase, all these, all these very, very powerful players have no interest in, in, in your social issues or your civil rights function or whatever the fuck you think you're doing, right? They, they, all they care about is the money. And until you, until you take the power away from them, until you seize power, right, nothing will change. You will not drain no swamp. You'll replace the swamp with another bunch of swamp creatures. Right? You have to col you collapse the system and you have to acknowledge that, that the trickle-down theory of giving corporations every possible break in the world is, is, is false. It's a false idea. Right? It doesn't work. Right? Is the alternative socialism, socialism, the Venezuela, they're gonna, you, they, Conti wants you to eat your dog because there's not going to be any food to go around. It's just, it's just, it's a, it's a purely American idea to, to create a new deal. We did it in the 40s, where, where corporations were collapsing the economy. They were stealing all the, all the treasure, right? And then we, we, we instituted a new deal and leveled the playing field for regular people, right? It's not a so, it's not, it's not vintage socialism. It's a purely American idea. That we're trying to trying to convey to our our audience is alt the alt media, right? That if Alex Jones would get his head out of his ass, he would understand that we're friends. That we don't want to. We're not trying to fight with you. We're trying to trying to educate you on something that you clearly need education. You're a smart guy, Alex, but you 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 you're, you're fundamentally wrong in this in this. In this instance, where you're backing, you're backing failed ideas, and and then anything that 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 leans in the favor of taking the oligarchy and the corporations down, and taxing them, right, and holding them accountable, right, and r distributing the wealth to the people so that we have, you know. So velocity of money can take effect again, where people have money, they spend money, and then corporate, then small businesses flourish and people flourish because they have money to spend. But if all the corporations do is hoard the, hoard the treasure and ship our jobs off seas and take our money and, and fail to pay tax and, and do all this fucking stupid dance, where's your solution? Where? You think that, that you think draining a swamp is going gonna, is gonna to prevent corporate greed? You're out of your mind. You're just, you're delusional. So my name is Marcus Conti. I'm an investigative journalist, reporter here on YouTube, and candidate for the United States Senate. Peace.